And tonight, newly released video shows the moment a century-old Davenport apartment building came crashing down. You see it on the right side of your screen. A surveillance camera captures bricks falling from that six-story building before the exterior wall buckles and parts of the building crumble away. The new video comes as the search for survivors comes to an end. These three men remain unaccounted for tonight. Officials told us yesterday that Braden Colvin and Ryan Hitchcock are likely caught in the rubble. They're still uncertain if Daniel Prien was home when the apartment collapsed. Five days after that apartment building collapsed, crews are now moving to stabilize what's left of that structure so that recovery efforts can begin. A special task force entered the building last night, but officials would not say if anybody was recovered during that final search. Officials say the task force has been on the ground since Sunday. They say the building is constantly shifting, creating a dangerous situation for rescuers. We did have personnel searching the entire safe area that was deemed safe on Tuesday. Uh, Monday, the building was still in motion. And from the structural engineers we had in their evaluation, it was unsafe for us to go in at that point. We are doing the best we can to balance the um, the building conditions and the safety of our responders. Responders say they couldn't get to parts of the collapsed area because of a massive mid-American transformer nearby. That transformer powered part of downtown Davenport. It took crews days to shut it off safely. Family members of the victims and neighbors are still gathered outside the collapsed building tonight. KCCI's Ethan Humble shows us their frustrated call for answers. Five days since the apartment building collapsed, people are still waiting for answers as the search for the three who were still missing in the building has been completed. Both returning and new visitors stopped by the partially collapsed Davenport apartment building today. Some protesters have been around all week demanding those trapped in the buildings be removed before demolition can begin. Others have just stopped out today to check on the damage, but many people still wonder if enough has been done. There's people in there or animals or if you thought anything was in there, like why wouldn't you do everything and anything to get them out and make sure everything's safe? A lot of heartbreak, a lot of wonder, worry. I've heard there's people missing that I still haven't found yet. But for right now, the wait continues. In Davenport, Ethan Humble, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Inspection reports revealed signs of trouble months before the building fell. Engineers noticed cracks in the external walls in February. Days before the collapse, another report indicated a wall was in imminent risk of crumbling. KCCI dug through those documents. You can find a full report online at KCCI.com.